everybody, Michelle Rock here from Rock Industrial and R&R Smokers. Uh, we're at the very beginning of the Area 506 Container Village project. Uh, cut the first piece of steel today, I'm very excited. Things are going great. Hey Ray, how's it going? Good, good. How's it going in there so far? Oh, it's doing good. We got sparks flying now. First steel hit the ground and there's holes in containers. So yeah. we're, we're getting there. So listen, it's uh, we're only day two now. We're just getting the process started, but you guys are first up. Yes, so the sir. welding thing, I was blown away. You guys have already got well on your way to the second container already. Yeah. Sounds like things are going pretty well so far. No, it's going excellent. Uh, we anticipate doing probably about three a week. So we should be right on schedule to be on the waterfront. That's amazing. So Rock Industrial is a local company that's one of the most important things for us. It's really important to kind of support local business, work with local businesses. Tell me a little bit about Rock Industrial. Uh, Rock Industrial started, uh, oh geez, about nine years ago now. Uh, we sell plows, uh, service work trucks, uh, maintain trailers, and uh, we have a smoker division as well. Now my understanding is that um, Part of the resume on the container thing is that you guys have done some significant work with containers in the past. We have, uh, not through Rock Industrial, but through previous employers where I worked out west, I have uh, about 15 years of experience modifying containers. We've done some pretty wild things with them. So. Yeah, I think it goes a long way working in small spaces. Yeah. Now tell me, you mentioned r, &R Smokers. Yeah. Now that's one that's got me sort of interested. Tell me a little bit about r, &R Sloop Smokers. Um, we started r, &R Smokers up at uh, the first of COVID. Uh, had some spare time on my hands because it was pretty quiet built a smoker and uh, just kind of took right off. Um, we did close to 80 units this summer. We got into supply business. Uh, it's been a, a local hit. We can't thank this city enough. Everybody's been so supportive of the project. It's really phenomenal. That's amazing. You know, it's one of those stories where it's like one business starts and it creates another business and you hear a silver lining around COVID is nice and refreshing too. It was, uh, it was definitely, you know, I've seen a lot of people go through doom and gloom and uh, I just wasn't really ready to ready to give up, I, you know, there was always something else there, right? So yeah, it uh, turned into a, kind of a national brand, so it's, it's going really, really well. That's amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, first off, we really appreciate you coming in for this project, and we're excited to see this thing come to life. We appreciate being a part of it. That's awesome. So I'll tell you what, every week we're gonna come back with another feature on another partner, and take you along this journey with us as we kind of work through all of these shipping containers and, and bring that shipping container village to life. So stay tuned, and we'll talk again next week.